Based on the examples that we have done, I want to talk about this theorem. If u is a utility function that represents the preference relation as good as, and f is strictly increasing function, then v, which is a function of u, is also a utility function representing the same preferences. Just try and understand this thing. Suppose I have a utility function and my utility function is x1 into x2. And this utility function well goes with this preference relation. So, you know, if I say that there is a bundle 4 comma 3, which is as good as the bundle 4 comma 2 which means that the utility from the bundle 4 comma 3 should be greater than or equal to the utility from the bundle 4 comma 2. So the utility from here is 12 which is greater than or equal to 8. Right. So it, it satisfies this preference. Similarly if I take another bundle 4 comma 3 and I take another bundle 3 comma 4 then the utility from the bundle 4 comma 3 is greater than or equal to the utility from the bundle 3 comma 4. So 12 is equal to 12. Again, the same preferences are taken care of. And supposedly I tell you that I have a function which is an increasing function. So, you know, I am going to transform. So, supposedly I say that my utility is represented by x1, x2. What would be an increasing function? See, an increasing function is anything such that if I take x1 here and x2 here, or, you know, I'll take something else. Supposedly I take x here and y here. If y is greater than x, you see this? y is greater than x, then if I put the value of y in the function, it should be greater than the value of x. Then this function is called an increasing function. So, supposedly, I take, supposedly the function that I have is, uh, let's say, the function that I have is 4 of x. And now I know that 6 is greater than 3. Then 4 into 6 is also greater than 4 into 3. If I put the values of 6 and 3 here, which means 24 is also greater than 12, this is true. So this is an increasing function. You get this? That if in this function I put a value x2, I put a value x1 and x2 is greater than x1, then f of x2 is also greater than f of x1. Okay. Or which means nothing but 4 of x2 is greater than 4 of x1. So now I have a utility function with me. This is the utility function that I have. I am doing an increasing transformation of the utility function. So if I have any utility function, if I multiply it by any number, supposedly 4, then that would be an increasing transformation of the utility function. So supposedly I tell you that the utility function that I have is x into y. Then, I am transforming the function supposedly f of u is 4 of u. Then this should satisfy the property 
that if the bundle x1 y1 ha has a greater value is preferred over the bundle x2 y2 then you know i can say the utility from the bundle x1 y1 is greater than the utility from x2 y2 then even when i transform this function f of u of x1 y1 should be greater than f of u of x2 y2 please try and understand this thing so you know which means that if i am saying that my utility function is x y and i tell you that what is the utility i will get from x1 y1 i'll get the value x1 into y1 what is the utility i will get from x2 y2 i'll get x2 into y2 if i tell you that x2 y2 is greater than x1 y1 and i tell you that the transformation that i am doing is the new transformation of the function is four times the initial function this is the transformation then i am saying that if i multiply both ends by 4 then do you agree that this still retains the signs are not changed so this is an increasing function if utility initially from this bundle was greater than this bundle and even when i transformed the bundles the new also has a high you know even when i transformed the way i'm writing my utility then also i'm preserving this then it is an increasing transformation right so let's take another example to make things clearer my utility function that i have is x plus y and the transformation that i want to do on my utility function is 4x plus 3y this is the transformation i want to do now if i tell you if the utility from the bundle x1 y1 is x1 plus y1 and the utility from the bundle x2 y2 is x2 plus y2 and i tell you that x2 y2 utility is greater than the utility from x1 y1 i'll give you a number to to make it clear so example i tell you that x2 y2 bundle is 4 comma 5 and x1 y1 bundle is 1 comma 3 then the utility from 4 comma 5 will be 4 plus 5 which would be 9 the utility from 1 comma 3 would be 1 plus 3 which would be 4 so initially the relation that i have is this u of 4 comma 5 is greater than u of 1 comma 3 now suppose that i transform this function i tell you that the new function i have is 4x plus 3y now 4x plus 3y in the initial utility function would be 4x1 plus 3y1 which would be 4 1 plus 3 into 3 which would be 4 plus 9 which would be 13 and 4 of x2 plus 3 of y2 will be 4 of 4 plus 3 of 5 which would be 16 plus 15 which would be 31 so we do get this that the utility from x2 x1 y x2 y2 is greater than the utility from x1 y1 this is something this is a transformed utility function right this is a function of the initial utility function right but this is also giving me a higher utility so that is actually in a way monotonic transformation are you getting it so i had a utility function u of x y 
I transformed this utility function in, into f of u of x, y. I made a function out of it. The function can be 4 of u. The function can be u plus 4. The function can be u into 10. The function can be u by 2. I transformed this utility function. And the transformation is such that this f is increasing. And by increasing, I mean that if x1 is greater than x2, then f of x1 is greater than f of x2. So I did an increasing transformation of the utility function, which is nothing but it is known as monotonic transformation of the utility function. Then what I'm really going ahead and saying is that the monotonic transformation of the utility function represents the same preferences. The preferences or the ranking remains unchanged. Now, how do I know that the new function that I have formed is in fact a monotonic transformation? We would know this by finding MRS. So for example, if I have a utility function x1 into x2 and the other utility function which is a transformed one as 3x1 x2 plus 10. What would be the MRS in first case? Case 1 it would be mux by muy which would be how utility changes when x1 changes upon how utility changes when x2 changes. Right. How is utility changing when x1 changing? Differentiate this function with respect to x1. How is utility changing when x2 changing? Differentiate this function with respect to x2. When you differentiate it with respect to x1, x2 is held constant. x1 is held constant here. So you get x2 by x1. Now, what would be your MRS in case 2? It would be MU1 by MU2. This would be differentiate utility function. Utility function is this, f of u of x1, x2, which is nothing but, let's say, v of x1, x2. So differentiate v with respect to x1 and v with respect to x2. So this would be differentiating 3x1, x2 plus 10 with respect to x1 upon 3x1, x2 plus 10 with respect to x2. This would be x2 into 3. This would be 3x1. This would be x2 by x1. This is your new MRS, which is the same as the old MRS. So the MRS remained unchanged. We did not change the MRS even when we transformed the utility function. As long as the MRS is the same, we say that it is a monotonic transformation. So if the MRS of the two utility function is the same, then it is a monotonic transformation. Then we can easily go ahead and, you know, we can go ahead and say that the two utility function represent the same ordering or the same ranking of the bundles. The ranking is unchanged.